have your notebook and a pen. We'll see Claw and Moose Cousins. Here, your best is always cool. Come and learn at Overall School. Hello. Now we're going to talk about the last digraph, the last of the two letters that go together to make one sound. Two letters go together to make one sound. And TH makes a sound that you hear at the beginning of the word think. Your tongue, did you notice? It, does your tongue do the same thing as mine whenever we say the word think? It comes right out between my teeth. Think. Yeah. Claw, yes. What do you like to think about? Well, sometimes I think about tuna, and sometimes I think about how hard it is to juggle, and sometimes I think about Granny or my snake Sammy, or playing superhero with Clark. Sometimes I think about dinosaurs or tuna. Did I say tuna? You did say tuna, yes. And and what joke I'm going to tell today, and and what cats taste like. Cats taste like? Well, I've never tried it, but I sneak up on them. So far, all I've gotten is fur. Do not nibble cats. And four-wheelers? Okay, four-wheelers? Yes. I think about four-wheelers, too. I like the motor. Oh, yeah, when you turn them on, because it's loud. Oh, and you like loud. I know that. Uh, the TH digraph? reminds me of a four-wheeler because not only does TH have kind of a quiet sound like at the beginning of think, but you can turn the motor on and you have hear the difference? Just like the motor in a four-wheeler. Cool! So, so we could do this. We could do the sound of TH. motor on. Motor off. Motor on. Two sounds. Well, it's kind of the same sound, but one, you use your voice when the motor's on and one, you don't use your voice. We'll talk about more about that in just a little bit. Cool. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Begins with TH as well. Ah, cool. We just learned about the sound of TH, that digraph, which is two letters coming together to make one sound. In this case, we're going to do two fingers coming together to make one motion that we'll do whenever we have the, the sound of TH. You also remember that TH makes the sound you hear at the beginning of think, but then when you have the th sound, you can turn your motor on. Th motor off, th motor on. Th so we're going to do that back and forth with motors. So get your, this is a one hand, but two fingers. Get your two fingers ready. Cross them as we point to our heads, ready? Motor on. Motor off. Motor on. Can you feel that uh, sound in your throat? It kind of tickles when you have your motor on. Your throat helps you to make lots of sounds. Hey, and throat begins with the sound of TH, throat. It's a motor off sound that way. We're going to end with TH. You guys have been doing a wonderful job with all the sounds. So we're going to even turn up the speed a little more. You might be able to go faster than I can, but I'll do it at my fastest speed. Short A, ah, 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 B, 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 C, K, 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 D, 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 Short E, F, 
G. 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 H. Short I. 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 J. 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 K. K. L. O. 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 M. N. Short O. A. 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 P. Q. U. R. 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 S. T. Short U. V. W. Y yeah Motor on. Motor off. what I heard when we were reviewing that. I don't know whether uh, the microphone picks up everything, but as we were doing our sounds today, there was thunder. I thought, how cool is that? Because we've just done TH and thunder begins with the sound of TH. It's hard to illustrate thunder. You can illustrate lightning. That's the part, the electricity part that you can see going zigging, zagging through the sky. But thunder is a sound thunder. It's over there in the north. I don't think we're going to get rained on and I'm not worried, but if it gets closer, I'll just stop the camera for a while and we'll pick it up in a little bit. TH. Well, we have our last helper today, Ruth. Her name doesn't begin with TH, but she does have a TH in her name. Er, u, Ruth. More thunder. Okay, Ruth, it's up to you. What what sound, uh, what words begin with a sound? I know you have it at the end of your name, but we're talking about beginning sounds. Besides thunder. Hmm. Oh, okay, go ahead. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. What else? Throat, right? Throat. And th thermometer. Oh, yeah. If you want to know what your temperature is, you put it in your mouth or you put it on your forehead. And a thermometer, you can also look at to see the temperature outside or the temperature in your house. Thermometer. All of those. Ooh, nice thunder. All of those are motor off. Can you think of any any words that begin with th? Th them, right? You want to play with th them, or how about these or those? A lot of words have motor off, but some words do have motor on. So Ruth, go ahead. You you and the cousins can illustrate that you can be you're the illustrator but they can give you suggestions and while we do that you can maybe listen to see if there's any more th thunder you guys want to move to the porch up up here higher in case it starts raining okay see you in two minutes
five, four, three, two, one, and done. Ruth and the cousins are finished. So take a look. What do you see there? I see a hand, but the arrow is pointing to one specific finger. Thumb, yes. And I see a number. Three. And then I see a needle with something going through it. You might know this word, you might not. Thread, yes. You can put thread in a needle and then you can sew things back together if they rip. Claw? Yes? Uh, do you know what you're going to draw for TH? Motor on. Motor off. I'm thinking. <laughs> yes, I know. I know what it is. Okay. I'll give you a hint. What? I love math. Oh, math has that sound at the end of the word. Can you think of something for math? If it has the th at the beginning of the word? Yes, I can. Okay. Here you go. Oh, that's what Ruth and the cousins made. I'm not done yet. Okay. Wow, Claw, this looks like third grade math. Okay, this is a lot of threes. It is a lot of threes. But just this number is three. <laughs> Ooh, what number is this? Thirty-three. <laughs> Oh, what number is that? 333. <laughs> Aha! Do you know what number that is? Yes, I do. That's third grade math. It's da, 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 3,000. Yay for math. We're going to try to write the lowercase alphabet at a medium fast speed. I didn't do it my fastest, but I did it medium fast. It's not as neat as I usually do. Look, I have uh, P and Q bumping into each other. I don't have the tail on the Q. The K looks a little wonky. The E isn't really touching the bottom of the box. The Y has a little curve to it. And the Z doesn't, is not on the box line, top of the box line, but I can read it. So you try. Now, not yet, not yet, not yet. Get your uh, dot, box, dot, box, dot, box, dot, box, dot, box. Ready? And I'll show you this. On your mark. Get set. Go! Stop. If you got finished, can you read it or is it too sloppy? If you didn't get finished, could you go a little faster and, and make it a little sloppier and yet still be able to read it? The choice is yours. Speed really doesn't matter. You do your best, but sometimes you're writing for neatness and sometimes you're writing just for communication, just to get something down. I go to the grocery store sometimes and I have written it much too fast, and I get there and I think, what kind of groceries was I supposed to buy? 
now time to take a little break. If you want to continue working on your writing or your drawing or your pattern, that's fine with me. But if you want a little wiggle break, now's the time to do that. So you can stand up. As a matter of fact, I have a song that starts with stand up. The, the directions are in it. Stand up, get the wiggles out, and run in place. That means don't go anywhere. Just keep your feet in the same spot. Run in place. Now flap your elbows and turn around. And we'll do that again. Stand up, get the wiggles out and run in place. Then flap your elbows and turn around. And then it goes like this. And let all the cousins say, all right, all right. And let all the cousins say, all right, all right. And let all the cousins say, all right, at overall school. One, two, three, four. Stand up, get the wiggles out and run in place. Now flap your elbows and turn around. Stand up, get the wiggles out and run in place. Then flap your elbows and turn around and let all the cousins say, all right, all right. And let all the cousins say, all right, all right. And let all the cousins say, all right, at overall school. One, two, three, down. That ought to have gotten the wiggles out. Is this rail thin or thick? I suppose it depends on what you're comparing it to. Both thin and thick begin with a digraph that has two letters, T-H, that go together to make the sound you hear at the beginning of think, thin, thick. Let's see how many sounds are in thick. Thin. You use your arm, I'll use my rail. Thin. Let's try it. Thin. Thin. That's three sounds. Thin. Thin. Let's get uh, some letters here. You need to have uh, T and H. Your one sound. So we have T and H. Well, I can help you with that. I, 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 I. Thin. Thin. So here's the word thin. I, n, thin. If I change the vowel, from an I to an A, it's going to do a little bit bigger of a change because it's not fan. We now need to turn our motor on. It's van, van. Okay, you stay here. You can wait back here. And I'm going to move you to the end of the word. This is the nonsense word, ass. But if I put a consonant at the beginning, I can turn it into other words. If I put a B at the beginning, then I have, what is it? B, ass, bath. Some people love to get a bath, some people don't. But you need one. If I change the B, the letter B, to the M mm sound, the letter M, oh, we have something that Claw loves. We have math. Mmm, ah, whoop made the wrong, the wrong motion. Maybe you have made mistakes too. That's teacher number mistake, teacher mistake number 968, maybe. Mm, ah, math, 
Law loves math. He loves anything that has to do with numbers and counting. And oh, you just wait. He might make a show about math. Math. Okay, well, let's write the word math. Yes, Liam. Oh, you're right. Math is the first syllable in mathematics, which is kind of like veterinarian was a, was a long word uh, that we shortened to vet. Mathematics is a long word that we shortened to math, or sometimes we call it maths. Oh, we're not seeing it very well, though, here, buddy. We're still not seeing it very well. I guess we'll just have to remember about that TH as we write it down. The cousins used another piece of paper to practice their writing on. So we have a dot box there. And let's write math, M-A-T-H, even though you can't see the T very well. Mm math, space. How about bath? B. Uh, how about thin? Space. Thin. Eh, eh, eh. Thin. Thin. Oh, and we've been working on questions. So let's try a question. Is the bath hot? Sometimes when I come up, if it's too hot, I don't want to get in. If it's too cold, I don't want to get in. It needs to be just kind of warm. So I'm asking, is the bath hot? Is, we have on our word bank, but this is a lowercase i, and you know at the start of a sentence, we need a capital I, an uppercase I. So dot box. Right here's the next one, is, I'm gonna have an uppercase, capital I, is, there's that zipper S, is, space, the, I think we know how to spell the by now, T-H-E, is, the, space, bath, oh, it's right up there, I can use it, that's a smart thing to do, is, the, bath, Hot, 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 hot. This is the end of my sentence, but I'm scratching my head about that one because I want to know the answer. Is the bath hot? Well, I can draw a bathtub here. Here would be, here would be the side of the bathtub. I'm going to slant it up and slant it up and then make a line across there. And here's the water part. Here's the faucet where the water comes in, and here's a handle, and here's a handle. And I can see the water in there. But I don't know. Hmm. Claw is wondering about that. He doesn't know. So he, I'm going to make a speech balloon for him. Is the bath hot? Is the bath hot? The sound of TH is a digraph. Two letters go together for the sound you hear at the beginning of think or motor on. Today's sight words are going to have the TH at the beginning, but it might be a or it might be a z. Let's see. I'm going to say a sentence, and I'm going to cough where this word goes in, and you think of how to say it. I am taller, <coughs> my brother. Would it be than or than? Than. I am taller than my brother. Yes. How about this one? I will finish my work. <coughs> I will go outside. Thin 
or then, then. I will finish my work, then I will go outside. Hmm. I would like <coughs> one. Th that one, that one. Oh, this one almost means the same thing, except it's a little closer. I would like <coughs> one. This, I would like this one. I would like to go with, <coughs> would it be them or them? I would like to go with them. You're right. All those words that have TH at the beginning had the motor on. Sometimes the motor is off, but a lot of times the motor is on. Here's the TH at the end of the word. See if you can figure out this one. I would like to go <coughs> you with, I would like to go with you. I'll put all of these in here. And here we go. Then, then, that, this, them with sheep has us than This, them, tell, miss, land, cut, dogs, As ask. Yes. Men. Back. Then. With. Much. Next, that, no, them, and, hand, his, run but such is it is now time to say goodbye see you next time at overall school <laughs> What did the hot dog say when he won the race?